Yep, still running my ad. <laughs> Professional babysitting service for the rich and famous. 500 bucks an hour. They must have a lot of dough stash taking care of all those rich people's kids. Looks like I've got work to do. This babysitting's gonna be a cinch! Bring on the babies, bring on the bucks, hang on nanny and a hot cha-cha. Hello, Woody's babysitting service. This is old lady Buzzard. Would you take care of Junior while I get my jewels polished? Oh boy, my first customer. Wow, that was fast. Coming! Hello? Hmm. <sighs> Whoa, heavy baby. <laughs> <laughs> what a loud, ugly baby. Babies cry when they're hungry. Hmm. What say we make you a snacky wacky, hmm, baby baby? <laughs> While that sap's busy, I'll find out where he keeps all his babysitting dough. Babies need lots of vitamins, but they can't eat big people food. Hmm. All I've got is big people food. Aha! No cash! <laughs> Better try and take whatever I can. with the little rattle while I catch up on the morning news. Playing baby games? 
goodness, will you look at that? It's nap time. Sleep tight, little baby. Oh, by the way, I uh, don't have a teddy bear, so I got you the next best thing. A real live badger. <laughs> Pleasant dreams! <laughs> yes, officer. The third house on the left. Oh, and don't forget the reward money. <laughs> Oh, please, Mr. Policeman, you gotta arrest me. I want to go to jail. Look, I'm no baby. See, I'm Buzz Buzzard, convicted felon. Please don't leave me with that wacky woodpecker. <laughs> Man, I can't wait to get back to that pokey. Yep. Peanut butter sandwiches, hot broth, and all my buddies. <laughs> Hiya, buddy. No! What's it cost to heat this can? Look, unless you're paying the bill, keep the door closed. Yeesh. Hey, hey, watch it! You could poke an eye out with that thing. Ready to fish, boys? Come on, let's get out of this ice box. And now, a special message from Clive's Cut Rate Bait. Are you hungry? You got a hook in a paw? Well, if you can't catch your next meal with Clive's cut-rate bait, you can't be caught. And if you're not satisfied with cut-rate bait, send it back and I will send you some bigger or better kind of bait absolutely free until you catches a fish. you to the items in your starter kit. First, our cut rate bait catalog. And next, my genuine fish fly larva. And finally, my trusty incubator. First, you ought to put them critters inside so they can mature properly. You ought to teach them flies tricks so's they can get the fish's attention and lure them your way. <laughs> Next, you ought to feed them critters so's that they grow big. Now you are ready to catch a fish with these here flies. No, please! You raised us! You fed us! You taught us to do this! Don't give us the hook! Oh.
your sports page here. Who do you think you are, huh? Don't interrupt me. I mean, hello in there. Do you see a pattern here? Like something to do with the bait? Look at the catalog, page 12. Each time you send a bait back, you get a bigger piece of bait, right? So, send me back, and Clive will send you a bigger bait fish. One big enough to eat. Get my drift? Satisfied with cut rate bait, send it back and I will send you some bigger or better kind of bait absolutely free until you catch us a fish. Another return? Oh, uh, who is this chilly guy anyway? He's breaking me. Every bait I send him, he sends back. I've gone through every darn bait I know. Hey guys, huddle up! Break! Only bait left is penguin. He can use it for catching a whale. Only I'm fresh out of penguin. <laughs> Boy, there's nothing more satisfying to me than a satisfied customer. when we were little, so we can return the favor. Right, boys? Remember what you taught us? Watch this! <laughs> All this rain will stop as soon as I get my weather control shack, yeah, you bet. One weather shack for Mr. Wally Walrus. Oh, joy. Rain, rain, go away. The ball is gonna make the sun today. Sunny side coming up. Nah. Fun in the sun, here I come. It's working, it's working. Fun, groovy, olive oil, a pool party coming up. An invitation. Pool party at Wally's, yeah. No, pool party at Woody's, yeah. <laughs> Woodpecker. I showed that soiree stealing Woodpecker a thing or two. Check me out, everybody. I'm gonna try a double half gainer. Ah. With a twist. <laughs> now, where is that no good party thief? Aha! 
Fun and sun over here. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a dance party. What's that? Those are Swedish meatballs. I boiled them myself. Care to bob for Swedish meatballs? Hey, you guys, why don't you come to a real swinging pool party? Come on, let's go. <laughs> I bet the hay vague. Listen, you meddlesome fowl. Those are my party guests. Ah, uh, cool down, Wally. <laughs> <laughs> Now, uh, I'll go get cleaned up, and I'll be back before you can say, Who is that handsome wood a pecker? Now that you're cleaned up, I'll help you dry off. <laughs> dry off. Sunny and beautiful in the Southland, with the highs of 89 degrees in the valley and 92 degrees in the downtown area. <laughs> what the? saw a chicken coop where the chickens weren't a squawking. <laughs> you mind explaining what's going on here, buddy? You destroyed my party, and now I'll destroy you! <laughs> Now to shake things up a bit with a little earthquake. <laughs> no good, dirty. Shut him down, or my name is. <laughs> you throw the best parties. Here's my lift ticket, Woody. Oh. 
hungry for a real Highland treat out there in TV land? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, well, mm -hmm. just point the remote at yourself, Woody, and follow me into Butter Scotchy Land. Munchies. Tuesday night's temptation. Wednesday night. Ah! It's Thursday night and I'm all out of butter, scotchy finger pies. What'll I do? Oh, man. Come to Woody. Welcome to Cash and Dash. He is Nash. He is Lash. And, and that's, that's no, no trash. trash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm Woody. Ring me up. Heck, that don't rhyme. Uh, I is forgot my money. This is Nash and Lash's cash and dash. Not BB's freebies. Not Barry and Larry's take whatever you can carry. Not everything you see here is yours just because you wanted it to heck with anybody else, mister. Flash? Yeah, Nash? That didn't rhyme. Coffee's backing up. Hallelujah. Ha-cha-cha. I can practically taste those butterscotchy finger pies already. Hello, Woody. The sweet sound of my money. What is your pin number? Oh, keep it up and you're gonna get the old one, two, three. One, two, three is incorrect. Wait, that's not my number. Your card is being voided. Ah! All my money is in this bank and I want some of it now. I'm afraid I can't do that, Woody. Scotty finger pie.
gotta have this butterscotchy finger pie. I'll give you five, ten, twenty dollars for it. But this one is mine. Got it? Yeah, okie dokie, sure. Crazy woodpecker. Butterscotchy finger pie, here I come. <laughs> Drink. I need a drink. As head headhunter of this here operation, I live by the headhunter's motto. If you want them, we'll get them. Required immediately. One penguin for placement in beautiful tropical Montezuma Zoo. Beg money to find her. Mm-hmm. Bingo. It's a penguin, all right. Mush! Start the sled! Start the sled! I got him! Get my man. <laughs> what are you stopping for, pup? <laughs> Mighty large pair of underwear for such a little feller. <laughs> ah, this'll stick him. <laughs> against this kind of thing, you know. Skunk. Just add water. 
<laughs> This'll skunk him out. Isn't that thoughtful? Mmm, <sighs> lapso apso oolong, my favorite. A little cream and lots of sugar. Mmm. Kid, cut me some slack, will you? This is the offer of a lifetime. All I want is to take you to this tropical paradise. It's all expenses paid and tax deductible, plus all the fish you can eat. All right, all right, you can drive. Now, will you go with me? <laughs> What a workout. Woohoo! The headhunters are finally here. We got the tank all ready. It's set to sub 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 zero temperature and comes with its own iceberg for the penguin. So, which one is the penguin? <laughs> No, it's, it's, it's... To quote my great-granddaddy when he was taken into captivity... is a mess. Sure is hard work being lazy. I need a new life. Chickens? Farm? What's going on down there? Mmm, nothing to do but relax. All the food you can eat. That's it. I'll be a professional chicken. <laughs> Gosh, what are you doing away from your nest? Never you worry. Mama will get you back so you can lay some nice fresh eggs. Lay eggs? Now what would I want to do that for? So you can make your quota. Quota? Yes, and once you've made your quota, you get your reward. Now get to work! Reward? Oh boy, that's for me. Now, where can a fella lay his hands on some eggs around here? Stealing eggs.
eggs, eh? Why, I'm gonna... She's it! She's it! She's it! She's it! What's going on? Well, a chicken has laid a million eggs. She is taken away to the door, where she enters into joy and eternal leisure. Joy? Eternal leisure? Anyways, as I was saying... Okay, okay, break it up! Break it up! Get back to work, you lazy bums! Hey, where are all your eggs? Why aren't you meeting your quota? Uh, uh, because, uh, because I'm too hungry to lay eggs. Of course. Why didn't I think of that? What's cooking, Chief? You got some hungry wood I mean chickens down here. Gravel and quartz. Good for a chicken's gizzard. What's this handle for, Chief? Pull it to get your meal. Profits, boss. How are the chickens doing today? Woody! Woody! For he's a jolly good chicken. For he's a jolly good chicken. For he's a jolly good chicken. Don't go away. I'll be back soon with another cartoon. <laughs> Welcome. 
welcome to TV's favorite game show, Scavenger Rama, with your host, Junkyard Jim. And now, <laughs> a big junkyard welcome for our first contestant, Woody Woodpecker. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we like your spunk. Now, let's meet your opponent! Buzz Buzzard! Hey, I'm not playing against that lousy cheater! Who you calling a cheat? Okay, okay, fellas. I see you two already know each other. <laughs> Save it for the game. <laughs> contestants are off buckling into their scavenger rama mobiles because they'll soon be racing around the city solving game clues and collecting scavenger hunt items and the one who brings back all the items wins these fabulous prizes may the best junk collector win <laughs> time for your first clue contestants it's like taking blank from a baby like taking candy from a baby. Thanks for the answer, sap. <laughs> Stare at me, you cheater! Big Baby Daycare Center. The perfect place for finding babies with candy. <gasps> about the big baby part. Go, 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 giggum, lollipop. Hmm? <laughs> it's time to start you a college fund. How much for your big sucker, your big sucker? Baby needs to burp. Uh -oh. <laughs> Clue number two <laughs> Never judge a blank by its cover. Oh, oh, all that time I had for reading in the joint paid off. You never judge a book by its cover. Hmm, Frankenstein. Poison! Ah! <gasps> Call of the Wild, one of my favorites. <laughs> hey, who turned out the lights? Wait a minute. He's gone. I'll just take uh, the three musketeers here. Oh, uh, for one. And one for the wall. Oh, look, three musketeers, the abridged version. <laughs> So long, Sap. <laughs> the score is tied one to one. And here's your next clue. A blank and his money are soon parted. Huh? What's that mean? I got it. <laughs> <laughs> What's he doing heading back to the studio? Let me through! I'm gonna win! 
You can't win. You never found a last scavenger item. Right okay, okay. Let's say it's a tie. Then we'll split all the prizes 50-50. You know, you're right, chum. And I'm getting first pick. Oh, oh, I won, I won. Oh, 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 wonderful. <laughs> all righty then. Let's see what items you brought back, Woody. Like taking candy from a baby. Never judge a book by its cover. And the final clue? A blank and his money are soon parted? Oh, that's easy. A fool and his money are soon parted, Junkyard. Did you bring us back a fool, Woody? <laughs> I sure did. And there he is. Oh, joy, oh, joy, oh, joy. It's Woody Woodpecker is today's <laughs> scavenger Rama champion! <laughs> We tied! I didn't lose! That's right. There are no losers on Scavengerama, Mr. Buzzard. You win the consolation prize! A fun-filled day with Anna! Oh, boy! You mean a date with the Goyle who points to the fabulous prizes? No. Anna, the junkyard dog! <laughs> No! Stop! Ah! Ah! <laughs> Hi, Winnie here. Oh, Genie! Today's paper? Yes, it's right. <gasps> oh, my. High Society Ball tonight. Upper Crust begs the question, who will be the new It Girl? The brightest star of the new High Society season, the new toast of the town. What do you mean I can't be the new It Girl? Oh, yeah? Well, I'm going to prove it. Except... I don't know a thing about high society. Wally Swedish Finishing School. High society, here I come! Wally Swedish Finishing School. This is where I start my social climb. Oh, oh yoy. You got that certain something, you bet. That's it for sure. <laughs> you really think I got it? Ooh, such grace, such poise. You could become the toast of high society. That is, with my <clears throat> expert instruction. Wow, well, what are we waiting for? <laughs> now, you must learn to speak properly if you want to be part of high society. Uh huh. Please read this sentence. Jumping Jiminy. Why, your jewels look just lovely. No, 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 no. Now repeat after me. Yump and Yiminy, why, your jewels look just lovely. Jump and Jiminy, why, your jewels look just lovely. Ah, no, 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 no. Here, put this in your mouth and try it again. Are you sure this is how you speak at a high society ball? By Yingo, that's the lingo. Now say the sentence like all my high society friends would say it. Yumpin Yiminy, why your yours look just lovely. Yeah, you've almost got it. Just need a lilt in your voice. Yumpin Yiminy, why your yours look just lovely. Ooh, you're going to beat this here's it girl for sure. Yeah, you bet. <laughs> First impressions are everything. How you enter a room can make or break you in high society. You must walk with purpose, dignity, and grace. Like so. Ooh. People will know you are a refined member of the upper crust. Yeah, sure. All it takes is a little practice on Volley's tire training system. Go now, walk through the tires. 
Just remember, Vinny, chin down, arms in. And waddle those hips, you bet. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Keep your arms in. Keep your arms in. Hmm. Aha! Uh -huh. I got just the thing to help you with those crazy arms. <laughs> Yeah, now waddle those hips to the beat. Yoinky doinky, arms in. Perfect waddle. You're sure to be a star when you walk into any room like that. <laughs> Table manners make or break you in high society. No, 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 my dear. You must do as everyone does at all the biggest parties. Watch closely. <laughs> Wait a minute. You're trying to tell me this is how they'll eat at the High Society Ball tonight? Oh, yeah. You bet. With this last bit of training complete, you're sure to be the belle of the ball. Now you try. Oh. Now your training is complete. I have never seen a girl who had it like you have it, Vinnie Woodpecker. Congratulations! You are my star. Now go party with all your hearty. Here it goes. Yump and yeemini. Why, your yous look just lovely. <gasps> Who will be the new eat girl this year? Do you think, eh? <laughs> Was it my posture, or your something I said? <laughs> what did I do wrong? I did everything Wooly said to. Wow! <gasps> Chin down, arms in, and waddle those hips, you bet. The walrus vaults! And it's the best I've ever seen! Ladies and gentlemen, the walrus high society ball has found its new it girl! Thank you, thank you! Hello, Genie! Look at your paper! You won't believe it! Who can I make say, I love you? <laughs> Another satisfied Valentine's Day customer. I bet you've never had a date on Valentine's Day in your life. Well, I'll bet you never have a date on Valentine's Day no matter how long you live. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, I bet I could get a date before you could. Well, I'll bet I can get a date before you. Okay, it's a bet then. You bet it's a bet. <laughs> oh, mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? Wait till you see me in my new red Valentine's dress tonight. The only thing I'll be shattering are hearts. Single walrus seeks ideal date. Must be clean, parasite free, whiskers a plus. Ah. 
to Papa. Huh? Single woodpecker seeks ideal date. Oh boy, here's my destiny. Hey, hello? Hey, baby, how about you and me going out stepping? Tell me what you look like first. <laughs> Oh, you're sweet. <laughs> Fifth and vine at seven. A saucy little bird. Oh, mama. Hey, I'm walking here. Why, you? I'll. Hmm. No good, Florida, dirty. Please. Boy, I guess. <laughs> Bucket, bucket on the floor. Who's the prettiest forevermore? Ah, when I get my hands on that culprit who... Aha! <laughs> no good hooligans! Now, who's responsible? Oh, never mind. Just hurry up. I have to get ready for my date. So double time and share if you have to, but move it. I don't hear you sharing in there. Share and share alike. Share and share alike. Crazy woodpecker. Ah, smooth, smooth legs. No more flaky ankles. Dawn and your stay iffy for sure. 7.30, on time and looking fine. <gasps> okay, Woodpecker, now I show you once and for all you're not so smart as you think. I place this ad so my date will be here before yours, you bet. Oh. Cupid, buddy, give me that a second. Oh. oh, Mr. Walrus, don't you look dashing? Oh, Minnie, you are as beautiful as a fjord in the summer, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, won't you be my Valentine, okie dokie? <laughs> you got no right. <laughs> 
That'll teach you. Hiya, buddy. <laughs> 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 